Intaro Tassadar Internet. I'm Dimebot, and this is your Sanitarium.fm news update for the 22nd of February, 2017. Kicking us off today, if you haven't been over to the Humble Bundle page, you need to go because they have a really good deal on Civilization Strategy Games. Pay just $1 and you'll get Civ 3 Complete and Civ 4 Complete Edition on Steam, and of course, being Humble Bundle, if you have more money, you get more games. Knock that up a couple dollars and you'll get Civ 5 with Gods and Kings and Brave New Worlds expansion packs, as well as Scrambled Continents, the Explorer's Map Pack, and the Civilization and Scenario Packs. You'll also get coupons for 20% off Civ 6 and 25% off Civ 6 Digital Deluxe in the Humble Store. Go up to $15 and you're also going to get Civ Beyond Earth, Exoplanets, and Rising Tides expansions, so yeah, ridiculously good deal. Civ 5 is a fantastic game, so is Civ 6, so is Civ 4. Actually. Is there a bad Civ game except for maybe Beyond Earth? I don't know. You tell me. Moving on today, Overwatch may have dropped a hint about their next hero, or at least started their ARG for their next hero. In a mock interview with a new character named Effie set in-game, she's a native of New Bunny, they talk about her winning a Genius Grant and drop some hints about her. She is into robotics and artificial intelligence and really wants to build robots that help people. Now, the character is only 11 years old and Blizzard has confirmed that the interview takes place in the current time of the game, so I have a hard time seeing them making an 11 year old run around the uh, map and get headshotted by Widowmaker, so maybe not a new character, but maybe this is related to the new character. Blizzard doesn't really do anything with this game for no reason, so let's just hope this isn't another multi-month ARG like Somber, because that just got really, really tiring. And finally up today, Berserk and the Band of the Hawk has gotten an official launch trailer. Now, the game launched yesterday for North America, and it launches on the 24th for Europe. It's of course been out in Japan for a while, but it is a Dynasty Warriors-style brawler starring Guts and Griffith from the Berserk series, and boy is it super violent, which, you know, you would kind of expect out of a Berserk game. So. That is out now for you people in North America, coming out for y'all in Europe, and judging by the trailer, it looks like it might be a pretty good mindless hack and slash fun time. Alright guys, that is going to do it for me today. Be sure to head over to www.sanitarium.fm for more news, more music, more videos, and yes, more awesome. I'm Dimebot, let's see you tomorrow.